Okay, so the day has finally come after trying over and over and over for like what? Just so many times, like 30 times. I finally got a win over Jade and I can explain how to beat her for people who are stuck on her. I'd... Yeah. Um, it's bittersweet. Jade's real strength is above a 2,000. Um, so, yeah, you, you have to... We have to really use well-informed moves. And that's a good thing, right? Like, you always have, like, you, you can always maximize your information and outperform your opponent and stuff. That's all that matters. Right now, right now, Lucas Chess is analyzing the outcome of the game to see how well I really played. Um, hopefully, it'll be done by the end, by the time I'm done explaining the insane amount of moves it took. 43. Yikes. Mid um, did a lot of silly things because I wasn't really thinking. Um, in fact, my opening got an 8. My middle game got a 37. <laughs> and my overall accuracy was a 44.8. So that's that's too low of a number to really accommodate for uh, any, ra any uh, margin of error and stuff. Got a scary looking position here, so I'm gonna make this less scary. Let's go to the first move. Of course, pawn d4. For white, this is the bread and butter. Th this gives you that 100% accurate game. Just stick with it. I think that's the only memorized move you need to know. Pawn, like, you know, because if, if you're using lookup tables, it's like, you know, you cut out a lot of thinking. And, uh, you have to use chess vision, which uses a lot of brain energy too. Or actually, no, it doesn't necessarily use a lot. It just uses more than you can otherwise use and stuff. When I'm playing chess, I'm think I'm 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 using knowledge and I'm analyzing and stuff and ca and calculating. I, you know, and when I search down the lines, I'm not using chess vision and stuff because, it, like, you know, <laughs> it's. Personally, it's hard for me because I have to, I have to shift into a different state of mind, which can, which can give up a lot of calculation and logical reasoning. Um, but it um, yeah, it's just it's just unnecessary. You want to use an example, you know, Vishyanand and stuff. He was once the high, highest rated player of all time, I think. Um. And largely due to the fact that he has he had more chess vision than anyone ever, um, or or had an amazing amount of chess vision, but that didn't give him, you know, that didn't give him the strength of Magnus. No, um, maybe it didn't make him like a like Fisher or um, or Kasparov or uh, Jose Raul Capablanca either or Murphy. Arguably, Judith Polgar is also a freaking chess machine, too, with her ability to see mate in 20 from the beginning of the game. It's crazy. You know, that's, that idea is crazy. Forcing mate in 20 moves from the first move, that's crazy. But hey, you know, it's, it, it, <laughs> that, that's the fact. Oh, and of course, who could forget Karpov, the guy who Mittens is based off of? master of all styles of chess and stuff crazy that dude oh my god he can't even see straight and he kicks and he crushes pe the you know grandmasters it's crazy you know he kind of lives on through that mitten spot you know being everyone's nightmare anyway so yeah so going back to the game <laughs> pawn d4 right it's the strongest engine move plays at night and stuff um solution for this queen d3 chess.com says it's good and an advantage for black but it's really not it's it's really not he's going to be given up he could give up material and stuff i don't want to exchange my knights and stuff when i need to um you know get into get into the opponent's territory and force their king around and stuff and attack key material and stuff i'm not exchanging my knights and Magnus at his peak did not, you know, you know, like to keep his knights. So I don't, yeah, I don't need to exchange my knights. Okay. 
Um, I, I don't even know what the engine's thinking there. Better move. Um, yeah, better move would have just been develop their knight, honestly, because I was not going to push up that pawn. Though I could, though I could use that pawn to like kind of be a menace and chew through um, the queen side and stuff to activate the queen and then just kind of, um, you know, uh, pressure with a lot of accuracy and tactics and stuff. Um, it's developing the knight and stuff because I want to castle on the queen side because I want to move that king as far as possible away, play a more aggressive game. I can, and I can make that, that expectation from this board state. You know, if it was later in the game and, you know, I move my king side the wrong way, then whew, yeah, I can make my king very weak. Um, this really isn't the strongest option, but we'll look at the moves. Yeah, it really it it doesn't do much, honestly. That's that's still a very ambiguous move. This is my queen side pawn, so I could just take. And that actually makes his bishop rather um, equal, pretty much equally useless on the fifth rank. You know, it it just does. So, preparing bishop. Bullshit. Um, so yeah, still developing and stuff. I want control of the board because I, I want to be the one that has the good moves and stuff. So I'm I'm trying to be accurate with my opening. Here it says I'm losing material. I I didn't I didn't pay too much material by the end of this game. So forcing my queen around, fine. I have many under, many other squares. I don't worry too much. Now it's doubling their own pawns. Yeah. Here I'm saving my knight and stuff because I don't want to... Because, uh, you know, I, I really have no other square. But if I put it here and stuff, you know, Jade, uh, you know, she... She takes that knight, I take with my queen, and I get a check, too, which weakens the king's side even more. Ooh. Now, Jade does this and stuff. Jade doesn't kick, doesn't kick often she doesn't get very materialistic and this is actually one of her weaknesses um she 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 blunders in material exchange exchanges um actually no, i'm not gonna say blunder like she messes up in the material ex exchanges and um that's a point of advantage and stuff what because most of what she does is she she avoids putting her pieces in the wrong place you know place for the center and stuff and then she knows a lot of checkmates that's that's really it. So like, you know, she just she just avoids the bad places for the pieces where they're not going to be active and stuff or they're not going to do much. Um, you know, she doesn't hang her pieces really. Um, and, you know, she forces line to mate, but she she'll 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 give you free material. So this type of thing is not something she does, you know, trying to kick my queen. But here. I Here I want um. Here, I want to keep as strong as I am, so I just, I give away this pawn, because my king side moved, so I can attack with that pawn now. Okay, she got free material, it's, is it just a bishop? Rather worthless, honestly. Bishops are more so defensive, unless they're paired, uh, or, you know, unless they're paired bishops, or else, or else with a knight. It's just how it is. Here I'm checking to get myself time to get my queen to escape. Checking again because 
well, I want that. Do you know that that king is even weaker now? I guess like I'm getting closer to mate this way. <sighs> you know, defending my king and stuff. You know, when you put when you put your knight in the way like that, you know, you when you have like with the queen over here, uh, you could just you know just take with the rook and then you're good. You get you you get rid of that queen and you know you're up a queen. You're doing pretty good. So that, that kicks the queen to uh, getting this pawn um, that wasn't doing anything. Um, this fork does not benefit her and stuff. Because, you know, she takes that... She, uh, you know, she could really just take this pawn. That's it. And see how she blunders it like she she blunders material because she could have taken um oh no no never mind she couldn't take that bishop for free sorry um whoops i misspoke here i'm kicking the queen again because i want to avoid making mistakes until i can take the free material and And I think honestly, this was a mistake. Honestly, I didn't. I didn't necessarily need to give away the rook. Wait, no, no, no. Never mind. I got the queen. So, no, this was a good idea. Now I'm. Now I'm. I'm really winning the game and stuff. Over here, it's favor for black. But I have this queen here that can take all these squares and and mess up everything black's trying to do. So, queen's a very hard piece to trap. You know, most of her pieces are pretty inactive. This bishop is doing terrible. This knight has never come out. This rook has too many moves to come out and stuff. There's just, they, she's got no peace activity going. At least I'm defending, you know, and my bishop's supporting the queen. Here, I'm, I'm threatening the bishop because I want to, uh, I want to make that bishop even worse. And stuff. that bishop could go here or it could go here, which gets it kicked. Or it gets it captured, you know. No, it, sorry, it, it gets it captured. Um, so okay, it's forcing my queen around at this level of peace activity. That's probably not the thing you, Black wants to do. Black should actually be. Um, Black should be attacking the king side actually, because Black's king side is over here and stuff. This d4 pawn go over here and open up the king's side, force a line to mate. That's what Jade knows how to do anyway, forcing lines to mate. She, so she should be doing that. Capturing check, simply a strong move. Not necessarily the best. But, yeah. And this is considered a great move? Uh, no. It's like, I mean... <laughs> You know, it's just not a great situation for black. Right now, I'm closing in on the king's side. You know, I attacked some weaknesses, made black weak and stuff. And now, um, I'm I'm a few turns ahead on the king's side. Black cannot activate its pieces enough. Here, my plan is to charge with the pawns and, and clear out these pawns so I can get perpe um, perpetual checks and keep control of the game and just continue to dominate. Because dominating is just as important as checkmating. They have to come together. Here, I don't take with the bishop because it's an equal exchange and I, I'm just not ahead enough. I'm not. This is, it's insufficient. I could simply play better, so I don't try to take with the bishop. Instead, I pay out a pawn to do this. You can make a cheaper attack, do it. Boom. You're threatening to force eventual checkmate. Yeah, 
pretty much. Equal exchange of material. My king side is safe. Black's pieces are right, relatively inactive, honestly, with my king side considered. They just have too much ground to cover. You know, it's a cheap check, and it's going to save the pawn, too. Getting my rook in there because I want to, I want to, you know, I want to suffocate the king and protect the promotion of the pawn. So, again, balance the balance of material is important. You know, so just summing up what I've been doing up to move thirty one is that I've been doing the same thing Jade has been doing, except I don't have a lookup table in my head or memory of like a bunch of checkmates. You know. And so I'm using um, position, piece interactivity, balance of material, um, control, spatial control and piece activity to, to, you know, just break up black. And, you know, I'm gradually chipping away weaknesses, chipping away weaknesses and, and attacking, attacking and attacking. And those are the, the, and that's kind of the criteria that I'm using to pick my moves, um, So as I'm lo looking through my move choices, I'm looking at, you know, how it affects the balance of material, spatial control, um, how, how severe the attack is, um, you know, whether it's a helpful tactic that really does something, you know, because I want to, I'm trying to dominate as hard as possible. But with Jade, in Jade's case, you know, she's stronger than the 2000. So it's really tough to... Um, it, it's... It's really tough to like just completely crush her the way like somebody might be able to crush Sven. Here, this is a safe check. Um, if I retry, let's say, let's say I would do something like this. Yeah, this would have just been a faster mate. Um, and then, which I mean, that should force. Uh, King should be playing towards the center where it's, where it's safer with its pieces. So I think e7 would have been the proper square. Okay, close enough. Um, hmm, strange position. Yeah, I mean, you just take with the bishop here, and then you have an arguable material advantage. But it would have been... No, actually, no, you can't take with... You, if you take with the rook here, you're stupid. Is throwing away the queen. Um, okay, so just... Okay, so going back to that check. Now, with this move, I can still improve my bishop. My bishop's not necessarily on the best diagonal. My bishop's in trouble, honestly. Black could take, Black could have taken my bishop, but Jade doesn't necessarily take. You know, she messes up, she messes up the 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 accounting of material. But you know, let's say she took with the knight, and that'd be screwing up her game completely because king side's open. She's in a position where she needs to take these major pieces to fix the situation and stop Pawn from pro promoting. It's too much. It's it's overloading the, her king side completely because she just doesn't have the material and the spatial control to do it. Here I'm playing my king towards the center because, you know, if I have perpetual checks, well, I still get some time. I, you know, I still have material. So, yeah. Blah, yada, yada. Um... You know, checking, safe check, gets me a tempo, stops black from attacking my 
my king. And this was mistake. At this point, I'm like, crap, I just freaking messed up the game. You know, um, I should have. Hmm. <sighs> Better move here would have been to. You know. Um, Oh, no. So I don't understand this position, then. Um, okay. So better move here. <laughs> oh, my God. My lack of knowledge is showing. Um, <laughs> oopsie. Um. Push up the queen more. This is a much better move, but, you know, it still gives M3. Yeah, pushing the qu queen up more should have been um, the hint. Oh, it's moving with the queen. What? Don't tell me they want me. No, they want me to sack the queen? That's crazy. I would have never. I would have never. Yeah, that's okay. So the queen isn't doing much here. This pawn is safe for a second. So I have a tempo to bring the queen down here so I can protect my king while attacking the black black king. So it, it just simply does more. But in terms of sent the pawns, it's actually more to black's favor to do what I did with the rook. So yeah, this chess computer is a little bit, you know. Now I'm clearing out the king's side more because I want tempos. Uh, black is very much up material. Black should be considered winning. But, hey, I know how to force checkmate as well, too. Knight cannot... On, on consideration of tempo, the knight cannot stop this promotion. And now I'm very much up material. I have a big ass material advantage. I have a king and two queens. Who boy. King can't be captured. Which means, so it has that conditional strength here. And that's mate. King's got nowhere to go. Focus on domination more, you get more wins and the checkmates just come without thinking that's the trick forcing lines to mate no that's not necessarily that's not or finding lines to mate and you know learning checkmates and stuff is not necessarily the way to win domination is how you win now let's look at oh the numbers are in okay so got her in the opening in the middle game i just had to avoid some mistakes in the middle game and then um and then you know use a bit more information and i got it black was 45 percent dominating that i i don't even, wait what i don't understand this Okay, so I think what might have happened here is the game kind of split up into two games where the game rebalanced itself. So it kind of became like a starting position over again. Weird. I've... Weird. That's crazy. How? That doesn't even make any sense.
That's interesting. It might have been the score statistic that was more important. Now I'm at a loss for words. So I thought I thought domination statistic was domination. You know, apparently it isn't. Wow. I guess my thing my my settings aren't correct or something. Uh, yeah. You know, this computer's kind of overly strong, so it it probably just doesn't. You know, probably sees both players as made um, as a making equal mistakes. You know, playing two completely irrelevant lines of play. That's probably why. But yeah, that's how you beat Jade. Yeah, you got you got to win the exchange in exchanges in material, while not making more mistakes than her, and and you got to use um, more information, and then that checkmate will just come to you. Yeah. <laughs> 